cutting candy <laughs> hi and welcome back to my channel so today i was going to Chodos mountain and of course i'm taking public transportory me only measurements yet so i have to take a bus to go to makaira stadium makaira stadium is where we take bus 408 abi the Octo <laughs> bus 408 is just like the normal buses in Nicosia. You can even use your bus card if you have bus card, they take the normal charges two euro forty cents for in the day in the night time. Okay, the bus doesn't function at night, the last bus is four o'clock anyway, so it's two hundred and <laughs> it's two euro and forty cents to use the bus. I mean, and the bus is way more comfortable compared to the normal buses that work in the urban area this is a rural area bus because it's kind of outskirts of nicosia that's where the strudos is look at this beautiful beautiful site i mean that's what uh traveling is about these cyprus have so many beautiful places but not having a car like hinders you from going to so many places but i'm glad that there's a bus that goes to trudos for people that don't have a car and cannot rent a car or cannot even afford either so you know in the bus we pass through this village kakopetria if you don't know how to drive and you have a car you don't you're not as expert at driving try it's better to just take this bus because the roads can be slippery and there's so many turns and turnovers so you're not going to fall inside Ilo. like you know yeah like i said the bus is comfortable it's like the intercity buses the chairs are comfortable there's a charger you can even charge you can slip over and be charging your phone you know <laughs> I believe the bus was about one hour plus ride, maybe one hour 30 minutes. I can't remember exactly. But if you're using your own private car, it's definitely one hour or less, which is great. Like, you have to go and see snow. You don't even have to, like, travel around the world <laughs> in this same Cyprus. People that are in Limassol and Paphos and Quartin, they have to travel mountain. further. But if you're in Nicosia, it's not that far from you. Yeah. I think it's not that far from Lanakato, but I don't know. I don't know the route. <laughs> Do I know? I don't know. It's <laughs> snow. Firstly, as you can see, this place is a sight to behold. It is beautiful. When you get to the place, gone, gone, like where the bus is going to stop, you don't need to take another bus. The bus stops right in the middle of Trodos where everybody stops, literally. You can stop on the road, like a bus, a bus stop before as well. I, think, I believe people go to like the mountains. You take a walk, you can barely go anywhere you want. Sure, I don't miss your bus. <laughs> Proud parents, like, yeah, was so grateful. And I'm so happy that it's grateful that I brought him to the snow. This is where the bus is going to stop us, and then we have to use our legacy bends to start exploring. <laughs> if you have a car, you can still move your car around, it doesn't matter. But as you can see, there's a car park where most cars park and they start walking around. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier. This place is cold, or you can see the heap of snow. The place is very cold compared to the normal Nicosia or maybe any part of Cyprus. It's the mountains, it's cold as you can see, snow day there. Yeah. So wear warm things, wear plenty of clothes. If you want to wear 15 clothes don't wear 15 six seven wear it if it will keep you warm wear tattoo neck wear sweater then wear clothes that you know that are snow repellent that are waterproof jackets in case it starts snowing because it was snowing during my own stay and bring your glove if you plan to play with snow even if you don't plan to bring your gloves you can see us you know andy <laughs> We are trying to wear as much clothes as possible. Yeah, this glove I got for everyone from H and M. It's very difficult to wear. I don't know why, but anyways, the glove was helpful because it's not the normal glove like mine. That is like clothy kind of glove. His own is water repellent, just like the jacket. Oh.
this place can be boring i'll repeat this place can be boring because there's not a lot of activities to do except for this like play area for children with the swing and the slide and the slide was even wet he couldn't use it obviously and i don't want his clothes to get wet because his trousers are cotton it's not like the jacket so but you can create happiness for yourself you can literally do anything because like the mountain is wide you can go like far away and do stuff but they have things for children to play and like slide down the snow apart from that in the area i was there are no activities but you can do whatever you want if you are coming with a group oh, yeah, of true. people it's better <laughs> look at the activity that we have decided to do you know you can bring your speaker you know drinks or even food you, there is a food area where people sit you can you will see it later in the video you can make videos snack pictures do exactly whatever you want but obviously don't overdo because there's actually a police station right in the middle if you do what you're not supposed to do to be sincere i didn't do what i'm not supposed to do i don't know what you're not supposed to do but as a human being you should know your limits don't go and be trespassing and be making so much noise or disturbing people or creating chaos as long as you're not doing that you're free to do whatever you want and have a picnic of course you can obviously you can't sit on the floor there's a place of for sitting area for people you can eat and drink whatever you have brought but this place is a bit crowded so i would advise if you come with three four five people go up the mountain or even if you are driving drive up go to where you can eat and drink your stuffs and you know have fun listen to music and dance and you know explore with the snow and take my pictures <laughs> Jako Kojako words. I was speaking my language, Yoruba. I'm just saying because Aaron is not that heavy, he has less weight, so obviously he doesn't sink as much as I do. So like you can do whatever I want. We even saw somebody's snowman and we are kicking it. Are we not an eater? But I obviously <laughs> they didn't even make the complete snowball. It's all the kind of fun that you can have. This is the sitting area, that place that has a cover. You can have as much fun as you can i mean i did enjoy the place but after it's about two three hours you are definitely bored and you need to go home so i wouldn't advise to spend six hours like i did i came with the eight o'clock bus and left with the four o'clock bus, which is like horrible <laughs> it wasn't so horrible it means we had more time to like go to more places but at some point you start feeling cold because you've been in wet places and my trouser was so big it started getting wet overall experience at least seven over ten i enjoyed going out it's a different place i took nice pictures i made nice videos i explored a little bit i'm not in my house just sitting down and be sad i'll be watching movies <laughs> i'm not sad but yeah it's fun it the place is not bad but it's a better creating fun for yourself like watch this <laughs> watch this part like these people were just going by and we saw them using this plastic bag this trash bag to go down like there's something you can buy from there that you can use for these same activities but these people just use nylon to make this and it's still as fun this thing that you buy they are expensive and you don't use them anymore and it's just useless but we were doing the same thing with just a plastic bag and still had fun <laughs> Who is in the garden? A beautiful mama. Can you go and see her? Yeah, she's in the public. You can see already. Bam, bam. Bam, bada, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> what we did here was mostly walking around. And <laughs> walking is fun and it's good for your heart. So do it. <laughs> street food, street food, food. <laughs> <laughs> corn this corn is the most popular thing in this strudels they have nuts too like cashew nuts something else olive nuts baraba nuts they are amazing nuts they have intruders i think maybe the best even but this corn eh, i don't know how to get it to be still be fresh because in nicosia in nicosia me i have not found any fresh uh corn this corn is not in supermarket it's not fresh anymore i don't know how their own is fresh maybe they stored it somewhere maybe because of the temperature they i still have some in the farm that is fresh i really 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 do not know i ate corn two times in this video you will say 
and because it's hot it's very very it's us they're making it fresh for you so you want to eat something hot and tea and coffee all these things this is the things that you want to eat in Torodos. they make you feel better better <laughs> even if you bring tea from your house with a cooler it's still better to like buy by yourself some of the things they are trash doesn't taste as good but as long as it's hot you don't care how it tastes this food this souvlaki it was rubbish but i still ate it because well i was hungry it doesn't matter but the tea and the corn i was eating it steadily i mean i just ate the corn if i eat too much than that ah, i don't know my stomach will not be treating me well but of course the the cup of cafe the cup of hot chocolate man i don't like coffee i don't like coffee at all but chocolate i can drink any day anytime not too much because i think i'm lactose intolerant <laughs> for watching see you next time share this video to someone that you think needs to experience shoulders through my eyes thank you so much for watching see you next time bye <laughs>